My name is George Standolitas, and I'm running for Lake Orion Village Council. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about my qualifications and why I'm running. I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, a master's degree in business administration, and I've worked for General Motors for 45 years until my retirement in 2021. During my time at GM, I planned and executed major plant changeovers and new model launches. Outside of my career with GM, I was appointed to the Lake Orion Planning Commission in 2022 and am now serving in my second year as vice chairman. I also serve on the board of the Lake Orion Lake Association, which you may know as LOLA, and I'm now in my second year as president. Under my leadership, we have relaunched the LOLA website, refurbished our no-wake buoys, hosted a boater safety class, and addressed both the village and township leadership on boater safety concerns. As you can see, I have the skills and the leadership to be an effective member of the village council. Now that you know my qualifications, let me explain why I'm interested in becoming a member of the village council. My wife is a retired teacher from Lake Orion Schools, where she taught at both Orion Oaks and Blanche Sims. We purchased our first home in the village 17 years ago, and just prior to retiring, I became interested in our village government. In addition to my role in the Planning Commission, I have attended almost all council meetings live over the past three years. As you can see, I'm a strong supporter of the village. If elected, my three priorities for council are as follows. First, prioritize the issues facing the village. We're facing several major projects requiring significant funding. The sewer pumping stations, completion of the water mains, and street and sidewalk maintenance and repairs. These projects cannot be handled by the village at the same time, so we must prioritize and plan their sequence so they can be managed over time from both a financial and manpower perspective. Second, fiscal planning beyond the current year. Today, the village appropriately manages the current year budget. However, long-term success requires looking beyond the current year and considering contingency plans for funding that may not come through. As an example, the sewer pump station project began as a one-year project with the ex expectation we'd get $5.8 million in federal grants. We only got $1.7 million, leaving a huge shortfall. So the plan was revised to replace the pumping stations in phases over three years. Again, the new plan is based on receiving significant federal funding in each of the additional two years. We need to be looking ahead now at contingency options and their potential impact to the operating budget so we don't get surprised again. And third, transparency and communication to residents of those things affecting the village. No surprises. It's discouraging to hear residents say they don't know what's going on in the village, that decisions are made behind closed doors, and that residents' questions and concerns go unanswered. I feel there are opportunities to be more transparent in, communication, in communicating status on issues facing the village, including newsletters, our website, and social media. In closing, I may not have all the answers, but I have the background, experience, and the drive to help bring a more systematic approach to prioritizing and planning for effective solutions. I will solicit and listen to all input with the goal of implementing solutions that creates the most value for our village residents. Thank you.